a lot of people will put stuff out on social media across all the platforms, just kind of randomly, including myself. Um, what are some of the core concepts in social media that you follow? Did, like, am I thinking about this too hard? Do you think, do you think logically about how you put stuff out or what you put out or do y'all just put out a bunch of crap and hope for the best? Uh, a little of both. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> I think, uh, so what we try to do is really understand the platform and what type of content will resonate with the the people on those platforms. So YouTube content tends to be a little bit longer form. You're talking, you know, 12 to 18 minutes long. Uh, Instagram is going to be a little bit shorter, you know, like that minute to minute and a half. So you just got to be kind of quick and snappy. And then um, Twitter is all about like the conversations. So you're getting away from video and, and trying to foster conversations and interact with people. So it's really understanding those platforms. And then once you understand the platform, you can start to shape the content to be able to perform well uh, on the various channels that you're you're interacting with. Uh, I notice sometimes you get you break away from the core beard stuff. So there's one video in particular I'm thinking about. But I don't go too deep into it because it's actually pretty heavy. But it is all miscarriages. Oh yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And, and that you and your wife went through, and you put out a, a beautiful video about it. I almost cried watching that. And there were a tremendous amount of views and comments on that. Yeah. Um, and how does that fit into the beard? Why did you post that there? Was yeah, I mean, uh, a lot of it is making men awesome is our mission, right? So uh, uh, it, for anyone out there who's dealt with infertility, you know, it's a really quiet thing that people internalize a lot. It's, there's not a lot of transparency. And I figure as a, a person with uh, an audience, a large audience, I've got the ability to kind of share our story and, and be that guinea pig for the world really and, and open up so that other people can relate and be able to share their stories or be able to connect or be able to understand that they're not alone and going through uh, the challenging times that they may be going through. So, um, you know, a lot of things, I, I, I'm just okay. Like, uh, you know, like you can stab me or poke me or whatever, like all those roasts, like I can handle it. You know, I've, I've been an <laughs> online gamer. I've heard it all. Like, uh, so it doesn't bother me to, to be vulnerable. Uh, and I've had some terrible comments like on, on that post too, you know? Oh, like, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You oh know, like God. infertility or, or IVF has some, so, you know, some very religious people would, you know, say you're killing these embryos and, you know, oh, whatever. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. Well, so it's like, okay, well, but I can handle that. Right. You know, yeah. like, uh, uh, so that's why I do it. But yeah, it is like, you know, becoming a better version of yourself. Like we believe that like when you love the person and looking back at you in the mirror, then you can share that love for your family, right. Or share it for your coworkers or your bosses, or your employees. And then you share it with your community. And like, you become that like pillar of strength for your little environment. And then if we can build like hundreds of thousands or even millions of pillars of strength um, with our, our audience, with our customers, then we're gonna make the world a better place through a grassroots effort rather than this like top down, you know, forcing everyone to, to act a certain way or passing some kind of policy. We believe we can just make people better and that's gonna make society better. God, that's, that's so good. You have like, you there's such a bigger mission there i, I got to hate that word mission but yeah. that's, no, i guess that's kind very, of what it is we are very mission focused and it's funny because like uh like very recently there's another company that's like mi mission focused uh coinbase i don't know if you're following their news oh yeah on i it. love them and uh they kind of talked about how they wanted to focus on their mission and you know like politics related around their missions okay to talk about but don't don't like get involved in all these other things that are really distracting you from mm -hmm. their mission and you would think that would be, you know, everyone would be on board with that, but they got flack for that too because tons, uh, yeah, yeah, tons of it. So, yeah. uh, I mean, it, it's hard to to really be mission focused because so many people are trying to divert you from your mission. Uh huh. Wow. Okay. Cool. I I love that.